Today, I wanna to talk to you about why I choose to speak out against the world religion of Christianity. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Hallelujah. Give the highest praise for the Most High Yah blessing us with life. That's the biggest blessing that we can experience on a daily basis is waking up with another opportunity to get it right. Man, I'm out here on this Stairmaster in my little gym and uh, it's, it's a great time to give you guys content, to give you guys answers, and to talk to you today about why I choose to speak out, you know, against the world religion of Christianity. Man, when you start this journey of walking with the Most High Yah, you're going to experience a lot of discomfort with the cognitive dissonance that comes along with it. Meaning the older you are, the more you're set in your ways, the more things are may not be truthful, but they're concrete in your life. And when you hear a truth that doesn't line up with your reality of what you have formed to be the truth, that's where that discomfort comes from. And at that moment, you can either say, man, my feelings and emotions have been charged up with things that aren't truthful in the eyes of the Most High Yah once you read it for yourself. Or either you can say, I'm doubling down in religion and I put more faith in religion than I do the Most High Yah. So I choose speak out on world religion, not for views, because I'll honestly tell you this, not for following, you know, I know that in the book of Revelations, only so many people will be saved. Only so many people from the chosen nation, from the tribes and from the strangers. Only so many people will be saved. Everybody is not going to make it in. In the end times, when you read in Revelations, there's several different judgments, like six or seven different judgments, you know? And I myself don't take the mentality of, well, I just wanna make it in. I don't wanna make it in, you know, barely with 1%, but the scripture says, the righteous will scarcely be saved. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good on that. You know, I just don't want to make the team. Just barely made it. You see what I'm saying? That means you was on the brink of not making it. And your judgment, you don't want that thing to come down to a, 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 a 1% difference of you getting in or getting out when you got the opportunity to double down on what the the scriptures say do and in command and instruct you to do. You know, I started this journey off with one Bible given to me by my grandmother, who's a Christian. And you're gonna get to a point where if the spirit is upon you and if you have followed the instructions in the in the Bible, the 66 book, King James Version, you're gonna get to a point to where if you've read that thing pretty, pretty good, certain questions you are gonna have that religious leaders in Christianity can't answer. And when they can't answer it, they're not gonna point you back to scripture showing you the truth. They're gonna take you 
some of these concepts that they have been taught, they're gonna take you to some of the replacement theology that the church uses and practices. And you're gonna be like, hmm, something about that seems off. Because everything that I've read that's led up to some good and some righteousness has been in this book. You know, I'm blessed to have a, a brother that, you know, as soon as I met this brother, was willing to impart more knowledge, not just word of mouth, but supporting me with the Briggs Driver Briggs, the Strong's Concordance for Greek and Hebrew, and letting me know about the translation. And then me going back and studying how this thing has evolved over time. You know, some people do it out of head knowledge. They want the views, they want the followers, they want the YouTube plaques. But I'll tell you that, man, you know, I don't care if I make a video like this and it sits stale for 10 years on YouTube, not one view, not one view. But I'll be glad when the right person comes across it because maybe my video will serve as confirmation to you. Maybe you've been sitting back feeling like you're an outcast. Maybe you've been sitting back thinking like, man, nobody knows this. And you feel that heavy pressure of like, man, all these people are asleep. They can't see. And then you come across one of my videos. You might be on the other side of the other side of the, the, the globe. And then you'll start to realize how rare chosen ones are. You know, I say a lot of stuff that people will say it's mocking Christianity. But the only thing in the scriptures that we're not supposed to do is mock the Most High Yah and the Messiah and anybody who was in right standing. I want you to understand with a lot of these world religions, they have taken somebody out of the book and they have created a whole replacement theology around these people. Look at Catholicism. These people are praying the statues, saints that are dead, dead idols. And in the scriptures, it talks about you shall have no other God before me. They too, in the Catholic Bible, have the Apocryphers. Many of them don't read it. It's not gonna do you any good because you don't read it and you don't see the truth. That's how they can keep you in the dark. In Christianity, they make it seem like the Messiah is where the story started off. They chose to pick Jesus Christ, who they think is Yahshua HaMashiach, and formulate their replacement theology around him. They say, well, we do it on behalf of the Messiah, but on half of the real Messiah, he didn't ask you to do that. So that's why I speak out against Christianity, world religion, because it's keeping people in the dark. It's keeping people in the dark. And the only thing you can find in the scriptures about the chosen nations and the obedient stranger that was walking in the ways of the Most High Yah was they were going into places worshiping these other deities, these other idols, these other gods, which was almost religious practices. And the Most High Yah rebuked them and pretty much issued judgment upon them, scattered them amongst the earth and called them back to righteousness, called them back all throughout the Bible. And a lot of the letters that are in the New Testament People don't understand that these letters are letters of rebuke and letters of giving the chosen nation and their strangers their just due for correcting some of the issues that they had 
in the beginning of the book. Most people don't understand that, but you have to get around or be tuned into somebody that really has the light, really has the spirit of the Most High Yah. And for every one of my videos, man, I give glory to the Most High Yah. Don't think that I know the generation that we live in. Don't think that I don't know the generation that we live in and everybody wanting to cancel culture and do all this and be highly sensitive. That's why I said, I don't care about the views. I don't care about, you know, negative comments. I don't stay in the comments. Good comment or bad comment. God bless you, total rabbi for your support. That means thank you in Hebrew for your support. Total rabbi, keep it pushing. Because when I see these comments sometimes, I know that the seed that I planted with this video, I knew it fell on thorns. I knew it fell in a crack. And possibly your belief in religion chokes out the word and it can't even choke out the word if you don't read the word. So I know that the percentage of people that I'm gonna reach, but I know that the percentage of people that I'm gonna reach is very small. The scriptures say amongst a thousand men, this is the, the preacher, I can only find one who was upright, righteous. Amongst the women, I found none. So that lets you know, man, when you look at that and you look at revelations on 144,000 of the chosen nation will be saved. When you look at, you know, how many of the strangers, one third of an unknown number will be saved. Think about that, man. Think about all of eternity and who is really, you know, taking up righteousness. So, you know, I don't get caught in what everybody else is doing. You truly got to be in your own lane with this. Because when you think about, you know, this doggone journey, but you can look in the front of the book and see from the seed of Adam and Eve, the only righteous man that was found and that was willing to, and the Most High Yah was willing to save was Noah. Why you think he put him on that ark? Put a doggone flood out across the globe. There was many more people because the, Adam and Eve had sons and daughters and they kept going and, you know, reproducing. But the only one that was righteous enough to doggone be saved was Noah. And from that, we, from that we can continue to reproduce and do all this, but there's still so much wickedness. Man, there's a community out there, the alphabet community, that has taken what the Most High Yah has given us is a sign of a promise to never flood the earth again. But a lot of these world religions have allowed this rainbow community in and it's just taunting with the power of the Most High Yah. I'm gonna post that scripture in here about the rainbow, about the bow and what they have done to it. And it's like, man, when you read this scripture, this should convict you to say, man, I don't, I don't want no part in this stuff. You know, if I'm in one of these places and they're allowing it openly and not speaking about what sin is, what you need to do to be delivered in order to be free from this stuff, I don't wanna be a part of it. Don't wanna be a part of it. This is truly, when you step out here on this journey walking with the Most High Yah in obedience, it is a lonely journey. You might be the only person in your house, you know, that knows this. Everybody else still asleep, you know? You might only have be lucky and be blessed that you got one other person that you can fellowship with that understands, you know, what you're saying because they too have seen it. You know, I've realized that some of these videos, people will be all across the world and they'll be like, man, I thought I was the only one. 
No, you're not. I could choose to keep this for myself or I can choose to put that seed out there and try to plant it in whoever has fertile soil in their heart and wants to hear the truth and not just religious rambling, commandments of men, traditions of men. So yeah, you know, YouTube is a very sensitive platform and glory to the most high y'all because I've only gotten one strike, you know, only gotten one strike back when the jab was out, that Manny Pacquiao, you know, cause I was speaking out against it and uh, they don't want you doing that, man. They want you going with the system. They want you locked in with this B system. They don't want anybody to be independent, to be ye separate, as scripture says. They don't want anybody to come out from among them. Think about it, man. Look at the population of people that ride welfare. I mean, riding it. Imagine if they heard this word and the most high Yah meant for them to come out of that life. It's the reason I said the most high Yah meant for them to come out of their lives. Imagine what a hit the government would take if you're teaching people how to be free, how to build their own houses, how to doggone, you know, get off the grid, use solar to lock in your doggone electric payment. You can lock in energy cost of cooling, heating, you know, your house. I don't want people to know this stuff. Same reason why they don't build, you know, 95% of the homes that they build now don't have a chimney in it. But what will they give you? They'll give you that propane or that natural gas so you can pay money back to the system. They don't want anybody being off the grid. So I know how rare my message comes off. It's not intended to condemn or offend anybody, but those that are at the crossroads of you've experienced some of this truth that I'm saying, and you realize it, maybe this is confirmation for you. And that's why I do it, man. So you don't have to feel alone, like you're the only one, like you don't have nobody else that understands what you're saying. We may not agree on everything, that's perfectly fine. Peter and Paul didn't agree on everything, but they were both in right standing, according to the Most High Yah. I'm more interested in doggone extending a bridge, extending my arm, than putting up a barrier, but righteously, but righteously. You know, you have these guys that are Christians, Muslims, uh, the religion of Hebrew Israelite, and they wanna go in front of churches, stand on corners, yelling at the church, people coming out. Man, that's gonna get your, that's gonna get your butt locked up. It's gonna get you on a doggone watch list. But I tell you, the great thing about YouTube is, you if you're somebody who's sensitive, maybe you get 10 minutes into one of my videos and you like it's too much. Hey, the great thing about YouTube is there's a lot of other stuff that you can click on to watch. It may not pack a punch like this. It may feed your flesh, but at any moment, you can choose or opt out of not being offended and say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not watching no more of this and I'm going to watch something else. Go watch with you, been watching. Maybe you got as much as you needed. Maybe the most high y'all didn't want you to get the whole video. Maybe just something you heard today, you know, might be ingrained in your mind or your spirit and in five years when you have revelation and he reveals his word to you you can be like man this ain't the first time i heard that so that's why i do it that's why i speak out because so many people are asleep and in darkness where the most high yah has commanded his people to wake up closer to god ministries kicking a gun barrel straight